Part 2. Entrepreneur's Motivation Why trust the explanatory model concocted by someone who takes away or enforces something? If your money is taken away from you for something, it's a punishment. Penalties and taxes are synonymous in their effect. If you were caught speeding on the road, you would have to pay a progressive tax on speed. If you were noticed conducting an exchange of services, you would have to pay a penal fine for causing benefits and another penalty for failing to report yourself. It's more profitable to declare incapacity and get a little reward. The tax statement shows that your tax has no mathematical relation to the state services provided. The tax is directly related to your activities. In other words, it is not the payment for services, but the rent extraction from the real property. It's good to impose the tax system, which penalizes for making a profit, on enemies to undermine their economy. The state punishes businessmen by extra labor service. If you start your business, the state will impose a duty on you to carry out accounting. The state will not pay for these services. Accounting in the existent form is required neither by the businessmen nor their customers. Being under the threat of administrative and criminal codes, you will have to learn and do accounting at your expense, as well as bear the risks of being sentenced for doing business. If someone believes they really need information about all of your actions, charge them the price for this information because it belongs to you and has long been your merchandise. Doing something unnecessary is the most wasteful activity. When the entrepreneur's money has been taken away and divided, the entrepreneur loses money and wrecks his nerves. When authorities start stimulating some activity like innovations or development, self-sustainable companies lose more than just money. To realize speculative projects, valuable specialists are employed and the demand for scarce materials increases while their price rises. If some private investor allocates money to something, it's their right to risk. At the same time, an official who distributes other people's money just takes the money, specialists, and scarce materials from independent companies, resulting in very pointless activity.